Singapore's total employment for the first three months of 2020 registered its sharpest quarterly drop in 17 years. Speaking in a Zoom media briefing, Manpower Minister Josephine Teo said that this is due to a significant decline in foreign employment amid the COVID-19 outbreak. In the first quarter, actually local employment not only held up, actually still managed to grow a little bit. So there's some positive activity, but this was for first quarter. Now, for the foreign employment, however, we saw a much sharper um, you know, uh, reduction. And part of it could be due to the fact that uh, around about early uh, February, we already introduced travel restrictions. So you recall that there were a group of workers who were not able to return to Singapore unless they got approval to do so. And we, we had to try and manage the risk of imported cases. So the numbers were actually kept to a very low level. And uh, we see that perhaps some of them uh, are still have not returned. And either the companies have decided to exercise their own decision um, not to ask these workers to return, or um, they are also the companies are either they cannot hire or have chosen not to do so. Employment in Q1, excluding foreign domestic workers, shrank by 19,000 compared with a 24,000 contraction seen in Q2 2003 during the peak of the SARS epidemic. Meanwhile, overall retrenchment in Q1 hit 3,000. Joining us to discuss this is NTUC's Assistant Secretary General Patrick Tay. Hi, Patrick. Now, Patrick, what was Hi. your immediate reaction to these preliminary figures? Uh, what worries you the most? I think uh, this is advanced estimates for first quarter. So I think the, the key thing that uh, we're looking at is uh, retrenchment numbers, looking at unemployment figures as well as employment growth. So uh, the fact that uh, there's a sharp drop in foreign employment uh, growth, uh, that, that's something worrying. I think 1,900 drop, uh, uh, that's uh, what caught me a bit by surprise. And, uh, and of course, uh, retrenchments have gone up uh, from 2006 the last quarter to 3,000 this quarter. And of course, unemployment has gone up to 2.4% uh, overall, and particularly for Singaporeans, 3.5%. Uh, uh, well, Patrick, the preliminary figures look pretty bleak. Is there a silver lining though? For example, retrenchments, as you mentioned, are significantly lower than the quarterly peak of the global financial crisis. Is that a sign that the government support schemes are helping for now? Yes, uh, uh, from the union ground as well as uh, in various parts of the labour movement as well as my engagement with many employers and uh, workers. I think the first quarter, uh, if you look at the figures, uh, we are faring uh, much better than uh, during SARS as well as the global financial crisis. But I think we, we, we have to be mindful and, and uh, that uh, this is because of the various measures. In fact, uh, if you look at even up to this month, April, uh, we're looking at companies still holding back, holding the line, despite circuit breaker, breaker measures, uh, to not lay off people and to keep, uh, you know, to cut costs to save jobs and to minimize expenses. So I think, uh, on the whole, the key rounds of budget uh, interventions to the job support scheme as well as the various training and uh, funding schemes have uh, helped uh, a great deal. Mm. On that note, uh, Patrick, the Manpower Ministry also said local employment grew at a modest pace. Do you expect that trajectory to change in the second quarter? Yeah, I think uh, the, the key this year is not just looking at the first quarter, but also looking at the uh, second quarter. Because in fact, mm. not just second quarter, but uh, practically by the day, by the week, by the month. Because I think uh, as uh, situations uh, you know, uh, worsen or because of the two months of uh, circuit breaker measures, I think we have to be mindful that uh, employees across sectors, uh, not just the GP sectors, but across sectors, are feeling at the bite and uh, you know the the potential uh, weakness of uh, demand as well as the labour market. So I think uh, I, I I I'm skeptical, and but I'm expecting to see possibly in the next coming months and uh, the remaining half of the year, very close what I suspect retrenchment figures and unemployment figures will go up. Mm. Well, let's go back to the overall employment data released today. So, what are the short and long-term implications, you think, Patrick? And what more can the government do for job security and to create more jobs as well? As you know, the job support scheme and the various interventions and measures announced in the three rounds of budget will help companies. 
in more ways at once. So I, I see a lot of unionized companies uh, uh, embracing some of these schemes, uh, not just the direct support, but also some of the training schemes that are being rolled out uh, so that uh, they can keep the workers during these circuit breaker months, uh, make full use of the downtime, and of course, uh, to maximize and, and pick up uh, new skills, the second skill, and, uh, to upskill themselves. So I think that the various rounds of uh, measures of interventions have helped greatly um, for this couple of months. Uh, of course, we know uh, uh, the jobs support scheme uh, will have some uh, time where it ends. But I think uh, we have to watch really the labour market as well as the overall economy very, very closely to see whether there's even a need for additional measures. Right, of course. Well, thanks very much, Patrick. We've been speaking to Assistant Secretary General at NTUC, Patrick T. Singapore's total employment plunged for the first three months of the year, the worst drop since the SARS outbreak.